After you've considered your responsibilities to your colleagues, your research participants, and your discipline, you can begin deciding how you will share your work. You'll want to keep your target audience in mind, whether it's your university community, your local community, or experts in your field. The expectations of your audience can help you decide what type of format would work best for your project, whether that's a formal journal article, an in-person presentation, a poster, an interactive media format, or something else. But after deciding where you want to share your research most, you'll also want to think about whether you want people outside of your target audience to know about or access your work. If you do want to reach a larger audience, you might want to consider a Creative Commons license. Creative Commons licenses let you grant permission to anyone in the world to copy, share, and build on your work as long as they follow the requirements you've set out. Creative Commons licenses are made up of different combinations of four basic elements. Attribution is the first element on all Creative Commons licenses. This requires that anyone using your work gives you credit for it. There are three other elements you can add in different combinations to your license. This one is non-commercial. You'd add this requirement if you don't want others using your work to make money. The next element is no derivatives. You'd add this requirement if you don't want people to change anything in your work. They would have to share it as is. The last element is share alike. You'd add this requirement if you want people to share new versions of your work under the same Creative Commons license you chose. Creative Commons has packaged different combinations of these elements into six licenses. As an author, you can decide how comfortable you are with others reusing your work. Keep this in mind when you're choosing a license and when you're choosing where to publish. If you have questions about sharing your work, talk to your professor or ask a librarian. If you're ready to find the Creative Commons license that fits your needs, visit creativecommons.org choose.